Jermaine Franklin Jr. Shout out to Goodfellow TV. All right, man. Let's talk about uh, Secure Stevenson says he being froze out of boxing, despite a lot of the prominent fighters at 135 being with his promotional company. He said he getting froze out. So um, some fans call Cap on there. We we'll talk about him being the boogeyman. I spoke on it a little bit live Thursday. If some come up Friday, I do a lot of Friday. I fit that in my Friday. Usually I'm pretty busy on Fridays. Usually, or either if I'm busy on Fridays, um, I'm, bu I'm I'm busy. Or shit, this is a day I'm just chilling. I'm I'm on I'm no deal on chill. You feel me? <laughs> I be chilling like a motherfucker, just resting. That's usually like Friday and Sunday. If I ain't busy on Fridays, I'm resting. Sundays, I'm usually always I'm moving in the morning. Get what I gotta get done in the morning. And Sunday I'm just chilling on the back half of it. Saturday I'm just getting shit done. Making plays and shit. So um But yeah, man, uh like fans like, well you, you know, this is a this is hypocrisy. You turn down 25% to fight for all the belts. Look here, man, I ain't gonna be a, a financial boxing advisor. I mean, I was listening to somebody, I can't remember who it was. It was somebody saying, how can Devin Haney offer him something? You know what I'm saying? So Eddie Hearn said he should have took the deal. Somebody else say Devin can't offer you nothing. I forget who was saying that, but it is what it is. We know Devin wasn't trying to fight Shakir Stevenson right now. We knew that. He's not at his physical best at 135 right now, so why would he take a chance in doing so? You know, but if they fought, yeah, that shit was going to be cracked, but I would favor Shakir Stevenson because his vitality at 135 is just, he looks like he, he, he looks at his peak right now physically at his peak right now. I mean, we don't know what his peak is, but he looked good as I've ever seen him look physically. Speed, power, agility, you know, he, he looked real strong in that last fight. You can say well, it was an overgrown uh, fighter. Now, he did an interview with Second Wind Podcast, like I got my, like, Second Street and then Wind, W-I-N-D, go check them out. And he basically said that everybody criticizing him for his opponent that he fought. But ain't nobody saying that nobody else trying to fight him. Like, come on, Devin wouldn't get in the ring with Shakur Stevens. Look how long it's taking him to make the fight with Regis Progress. And Regis Progress, every other day, he crying about how he about to pull out the fight and blase this and blase blah. So, but, I mean, ain't nothing he can do but keep fighting the guys in front of him. No matter what you're going to do, the fans going to have something to say. If you're on the short end of the stick, some fans going to have a problem with it. Oh, uh, you should do this and you should promote more or you should throw more punches. You should be more excited or you turn this down. I mean... I ain't in a position to tell nobody how much y'all want. If you go into the job and say, I want to make $100,000 a year, that's on you. That ain't got nothing to do with me. So I ain't pocket watching. The only time I pocket watch is tell y'all how much they making for the fight when I do reveal the purses. That's it. So I don't like really care what these dudes do with their money or how much money they make. But it don't accept something and then cry about accepting. If he take a short, a short deal and he get robbed, so he got robbed twice. He got a lick hit on him twice. He got a, hit, hit, a lick hit on him for taking short money. Then he go in there and get robbed or lose. And then he get another lick hit on him. And he, and he rob and, get, and he lose. Who the hell want to go through that? So the money got to be right because you got to pay your people. Then you got to pay the belts too. So that your, your percentage going to come out, your, out of your 25%. The belts going to come out, out of your uh, purse too. <laughs> So, and how much money do that fight actually generate for real? That ain't no Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor type fight neither. Maybe somewhere down the line, but I mean, shit, they got a nice story built up to it, but I don't really think they nowhere near as far as the recognition or popularity they can be at, but um, the fans are always going to have something to say. It's always going to be Jermaine's fault. <laughs> it's all Jermaine's fault. It's all Jermaine's fault. Always going to be Jermaine's fault. You know, and my advice to him was just put your head down and just keep grinding. When the going get tough, it's not the time to quit. And I learned that through our life. Because tough times don't last. Tough people do. So you just got to keep, you got to keep grinding through it. You got to just keep pushing. If they give you the opportunity to take short, a little bit of short money, just to stay active, just keep running through people. That's what Mike Tyson did on his way to the title. Just kept running through people. Marvin Hagler, Michael Nunn. They just keep, they kept being active. They kept being in the pop, in the, in the fans' light. They kept the pressure on. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do.
gotta do. You gotta keep the pressure on. But you really don't want to be the boogeyman. You don't. And we kind of talked about the comparison last night with Lucas Matias. You know, Matias was feared because he can punch. Shakira feared because he can not hit, not get hit. Don't nobody want to fight a boxer that's just going to, it's going to, you can't hit him. So, that's one thing to kind of think about. Don't nobody want to fight no boxer that they can't hit. And I can hit them at will. So, he just got to keep beating guys and he got to get the status. It's no different than a lot of the dudes that want to be, you know, high value men like Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Neil Samuel said. You know, they tell you to get the money and then, you know, it's, uh, you know, uh, Start pursuing the women. That's how it always should be. You know, get them, get their money. It's then pursue the women. Make sure you got the respect. Make sure you got the career. Then you get the money. Then you pursue the women. But you got to understand they only with you for the money. A woman that love a man that they see the potential in a man that can build through the struggle. That's what you really want, though. But these women today don't want to build through the struggle. They want, they want ready-made food. You know. That's one thing you got to think about. Everybody wants instant. If you can find an old school chick that's willing to build with you, you know what I'm saying? It ain't cool. But he just got to embrace the struggle. That's all you got to do is keep knocking these dudes off, keep collecting belts, keep pressuring dudes. That's what you got to do. That's what he got to do. But you don't want to be the boogeyman. The boogeyman get weighted out. Wait till he get old. Wait till he tough. Take a whole bunch of tough fights. Wait till he get wore down. And then people want to strike. You know. So, you know. And that might be the difference between being a silver medalist and a gold medalist for Shakira Stevenson. That might be the difference. If he was a gold medalist, maybe they'd be forcing to play like they did with Lomachenko. But then again, we can point to Shakira Stevenson. I mean, we can point to Rigondeaux, and they ain't do that for Rigondeaux. And Rigondeau and, you know, uh, Shakira Stevenson got basically the same style damn near. So, yeah, you don't want to be the boogie, man, at all. You don't. You know. You don't want to be the boogie, man. shit it is what it is but you know he just gotta keep grinding bro you're gonna have fans that's against you gonna have fans that's for you gonna fan man it's always gonna be somebody had a problem with you always trust and believe me no matter how my, nice you come off no matter how respectful you come off you know what i'm saying these oh you think you better than us i have people say that like dog i don't even carry myself that way but people people certain things bother certain people bro so you know we got a lot of a lot of chicks that go through that who carry themselves to the highest regards and, and some people say oh you boozy you think you better than us no she just carry herself the right way so you know but yeah man you gotta just keep grinding that's what I would tell them put your head down and just it's time to get to work it's time to start blowing through these dudes looking impressive applying pressure if you can't apply pressure on these dudes and get for unifications then just keep beating niggas ass when your contract up, lead top rank because they can't deliver the fights that they you need that you need to be delivered. You need to have. So just keep fighting who you can fight. Keep beating whoever ass you gotta beat. But you wanna be the boogeyman, and the boogeyman ain't never been a pound for pound superstar for real. Bug gotta be one of the first ones. Marvin Hacker did end up getting his recognition though, but I can't say he was the biggest star in the sport. One of them. He did end up getting his recognition though. But it don't really necessarily end well for the boogeyman. But you can froze out your company, your promotional company got Lomachenko, who's the number one contender, Duck. They got uh, uh, George Camboso now, Duck. They had Devin Haney. They had Tiafima Lopez. I mean, 
a number of guys. So, shit, it is what it is. They got to do their job. Ain't no way. Oh, Lomachenko says that he's, uh... Lomachenko says that he is, uh... He's worried about the war. But you was just ready to turn around and rematch that vein. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Riddle me that, Batman. Riddle me that. Riddle me that. So, so whatever, dude. Hey, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. If you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJGood313. Venmo, CJGood313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, TikTok, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.